Randy, the natural couture. I'm Stefan Bonner. This is Canada Spider Grove. I'm Cara Prezen. This is Brandon Truth Vera. Hey, I'm Ariane Celeste. Yeah, I'm Chuck Dunn. I'm Forrest Griffin. I am Fyodor. You are watching MMA Fix. For RawVegas.tv and the MMA Fix, my name is Dave Ferrer. We're at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas today with Gray Maynard. How you doing, man? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? Good. It seems like every time we come in here, we're here all the time to talk to different fighters. You're here whether you have a fight coming up or not. This is like your second home. I'm always here. You feeling pretty good? If I'm not, I'm not, there's a good chance I'm going to get beat up pretty bad in the ring. So. I'm going to have to disagree with you. I don't think there's a pretty good chance that you're going to get beat up in the ring or in the cage. We've never seen that. Yeah. You've only had one no contest, otherwise a perfect record in the UFC. Do you feel like you're really starting to hit your prime, like you're getting to the point where you're ready to start saying, hey, Joe or Dana, I want a title shot? I think I'm pretty close, a couple more. There's still some gaps, you know, I got to close, and, uh, but it's coming up, it's coming up. Got to keep in the gym still. Let's talk about how the UFC lightweight division is. How do you think the division stacks up right now? Where do you see yourself in the lightweight division in the UFC? We got Penn, of course he's unreal. Um, GSP kind of put it on him, so I don't know how he's gonna come back. Kenny is really good. Got Joe Daddy, got Diego, Clay. That'd be a great fight, I'd love to do that one. You know, whoever, I don't care. All right, well, here's an important question for you. One of your best friends, one of your training partners yeah. is Tyson Griffin. He yeah. trains right here at Extreme Couture. Yeah. What happens if Joe Silva comes to you and says, we want you to fight Tyson? We would tell him no. Okay. No. Um, I mean, if it's for, I guess, a belt, kind of at that point, it's like, oh, shit, we got to. But, of course, we really don't want to at all. Let's, let's talk about your opponent for UFC 96. Yeah. His name is Jim Miller. He's got a good record, I think 13 and two. Yeah. And uh, he's had a couple of fights in the UFC, but this is really the, the first time that he's fighting uh, a big opponent like yourself. Yeah. Are you happy with the matchup that you got from the UFC in Miller? You know, he's a tough kid. He's been going. Um, I know he's had two wins in the UFC. He's had a couple big wins in the IFL. So, you know, he's a tough kid. It's gonna be a good fight. There's been a lot of controversy recently with BJ Penn and the way that things have transpired after the fight with GSP. What do you think about BJ Penn's conduct, plain and simple? BJ Penn takes care of him. He got beat. He got beat pretty bad. You know, you know it's like, well, well, he greased and all this stuff. And I don't think that had anything to do with it. A lot of people are saying that grease or not, whether or not there's a little bit of Vaseline on someone's hand, BJ Penn still got owned in that fight. Yeah. But after the fight is what a lot of fans are talking about. They're saying BJ Penn, the way that he's talking on his blog, and he's saying that Kenny Florian tipped somebody off in his camp and accusing GSP of greasing, which you know there, there may be some truth to, but the human growth hormone and everything else, they're saying BJ Penn today is not acting like a champion. Why? BJ Penn is BJ Penn. He does whatever he wants, man. You know, I was in his camp. And, uh, you know, it's like, well, we're going to do this, this, and this. Whereas, you know, Jake, it's like, all right, great. You're going da 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 And I'm like, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah. You know, so you know, he takes, you know, he just, it's him. He does what he wants, you know. Let's talk about the mental part of the game for any MMA fighter. We see DJ Penn now after a big loss to George St. Pierre go through kind of a tough time. Rampage Jackson, of course, after his loss to Forrest Griffin, he had a run-in with the law and there was a series of bad things that happened to him. You've got a perfect record. Do you ever worry that if you have a loss, especially a high-profile loss, it'll affect you in the same way? You know, it is tough to lose. It really is. And uh, probably up until about last year, you know, I kind of... It was always like, this is life or death, I got to win, I got to win, and pressure, 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 all the way, all the way, all the way. Couture, you know, he's like, hey, it's all right, you know, you're going to lose. It happens, get up, keep training, that's it. Well, we'd like to see you get into title contention soon because Me there's too. a couple of names that float around. They're like the Kenny Florians of the world who always yeah. seem to be on the cusp of getting a title shot, and I think Kenny will soon. Uh, but you work harder than almost anyone else. You've got a perfect record in the UFC, minus that one draw slash no contest that happened at the Pearl a few months ago. But we're looking forward to seeing you fight at the beginning of March. UFC 96 is going to be happening in Ohio. Gray Manor, yeah. it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Always a pleasure. I'm Dave Fair for the MMA Fix. Thanks for watching.